For most people, Christmas is seen as a time of peace and togetherness, where you can spend quality time with your family, drinking eggnog and opening presents. But there's many Christmas legends and stories from around the world that aren't quite as innocent as jolly old Saint Nick. Today I'm going to be talking about one such legend from Iceland that has inspired fear in the hearts of children for hundreds of years. It's Christmas Eve, and a little boy named Gunnar is in his room playing with his little sister when he hears a noise at his window. He thinks it's just the wind, so he ignores it, but little does he know he's being watched very closely by a Yule lad. You see, in the mountains, there lives a giant horned troll named Grilla, and she has 13 sons known as the Yule lads. Each of these lads has a different job. For example, there's Potteschlicker, the pot licker, who steals leftovers from pots, and Kurtaschnicker, who steals candles from children. Little Gunnar is being watched by Glukageger, the window peeper, who looks into the bedrooms of children looking for toys to steal. Unfortunately for Little Gunnar, stolen toys are the least of his worries, since the window peeper notices how cruelly Gunnar is acting toward his little sister. The window peeper rushes back to his mountain home and informs his mother of this, since he knows she has an appetite for naughty children. Later that night, when Gunnar is playing outside alone, he hears a rustling noise in the darkness. Before he can run away, he feels cold, dead fingers wrap around his body as he's tossed into a sack. Inside the sack are other children who try in vain to claw their way out. Grilla takes the kids to her cave home. She tosses them into a cauldron where they are boiled to death and promptly eaten by the whole troll family. The story of Grilla was often used to scare children into behaving, but it was so effective that in 1746, the Icelandic government basically said that it was unlawful to use the legend of Grilla as an intimidation tactic which is pretty incredible if you think about it. I can't even think of another example of a legend being essentially banned because it was considered too scary. So over the years, the stories about Grilla and her sons evolved into a much more family-friendly affair. The Yule Lads are now set to appear in the 13 days leading up to Christmas, and instead of scaring kids, they instead spread holiday cheer. The bad kids don't even get eaten anymore, they just get a rotten potato or something like that instead of a gift. Anyway guys, thanks for watching this short video. If you know of any other Christmas legends, let me know in the comments. I know there's plenty of others. And if you like this video, please subscribe to Cryptic for more.